Good morning. Good morning. We are on the move to Galveston to get on the new Carnival Jubilee, and we are so excited. We have our son Seth with us on this trip, and our plan uh, for this cruise is to go to Mahogany Bay, Cozumel, and Costa Maya. So join us for all the fun excursions we're going to do, and we'll let you see that brand new ship too. Yeah. Bye. We headed to the airport in Amarillo, Texas, and it was a foggy morning. So we knew our flight would be delayed, and we were expecting it. And of course, it was delayed a few times, and they finally bumped us on our Dallas flight because we would have missed it. So it took us a while to get to Hobby Airport in Houston. For transportation from Houston Hobby Airport to Harbor House Hotel in Galveston, Texas, we used High Rollers by Suge. She kept up with all our flight delays and was right on time when we got there. We had a great ride over to Galveston and she even stopped at Bucky's for us. So if you are needing a, any kind of transportation around uh, the Houston Galveston area, she can help you out. Hello. Hello. We are staying at the Harbor House again this trip, so we are about to go to Rosario's Flying Pizza and check it out. It's been cold and rainy and really foggy all day. So On the whole trip. The whole trip. <laughs> so there's a little break in the rain, so we're going to make a dash for it. All right. Bye. It's a little wet. Show that, 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 show Seth ordered the small pepperoni pizza, Doug had a small meat lover's pizza, and I ordered the personal size pizza, pepperoni. It was all delicious. It wasn't raining too hard as we headed back to the hotel, but once we got to the hotel, it started pouring.
It's, it's cruise, cruise day. day. And we're headed to get on the Carnival Jubilee. It's about 9.30, 9.40. 10.40. Uh, th that's New Mexico time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Texas time, it is about 10.40. And our uh, get on board time is 11. So we'll head over there and take you with us. We're so excited. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's roll. Okay, now we're on the walk over from Harbor House. And let's see what that's like. A little muddy from the rain yesterday. We're not muddy, but wet. It should be just about a six minute walk. Made it on board. Even smells new.
the other one. Nice. Okay, we made it on board. The guys are off trying to find us something to eat. We're on deck 16. And it's not too busy up here. So we found a quiet little nook here we're going to eat and maybe get some Shaq's chicken. So uh, we're excited to be on board. Okay, 4338. This is the door where you walk in. To the left of that door is a closet with shelves. And a closet with more shelves and a safe. shelves and a long hang with one shelf on the bottom directly to the right of the door you have bathroom standard pretty much some big shelves though and toilet you know it looks like to be a pretty big shower out into the room Got a little cabinet there couch it pulls out into a bed this is a family harbor room Shallow drawer, two deep drawers. Little stool that also has storage underneath. Queen size bed. You got the bedside light with USB C or USB A. BA and then this is a window room, ocean view room has a little bench sitting looking out the window okay, and that window seat raises up some storage for bedding
another USB A on this side, and a bitty shelf. Light controls in the middle of the bed. Over here, you got the switch for this light and around the mirror, which is nice. Got four USB A's and three one tens. Telephone. Couple of shelves there. And there we go, that's about it. The guys decided to explore the ship a little bit and I started unpacking. Okay, it's our first night on the Carnival Jubilee, and we're eating at Chabanks. So we're going to check it out. We'll let you know what it uh, has on the menu and what we got. All right, here we have the tacos de carnitas. And with Becky, she got the super loaded nachos. Yum. Okay. Let's try a red dragon cocktail from Shebang. Really good. You can taste everything they said was in it, which I don't remember what it was. Okay, we got steak rancheros, 
with a side of rice. Pollo with mole. Pollo and mole here. And, and frijoles. And sweet and sour shrimp for the side of broccoli. And of course, dessert. All right. Doug got the creme catalana, or how do you say that? And Seth and Becky both got the chocolate sea bang. Homegrown. She is the only Lone Star ship that was built specifically for Texans and everybody crew the Man of Galveston. Because it's not just about Texas, it's about everybody else too. We know y'all are here, but I am incredibly honored to be your cruise director. I am a local yokel out of Fort Worth, Texas. I even got my, I got my boots on, y'all. <laughs> started cruising with Carnival way back in 2002. I was a junior cruise that went on the Carnival Fascination with my family. We fell in love with the whole atmosphere, the, the fun for everyone, for the family, for every age, whether you're young or whether you're gold. It was something our family did every single summer. When I found out that they would pay me to stay on board year round, I was like, oh, for sure I'm doing that. So I went to the University of Texas A&M. I know, you're a lot of Thank you.